this is usually all I do for the week, so be nice to me because anything more is brand new. <laughs> Morning everybody, I'm Marissa. I'm the hair.com social media manager and I just woke up. So I've got my tea and I'm about to get started filming three low-heat hairstyles based off of the Emily Alders video that she did for us and it's all over our social media. You can go check it out. I swapped with my hair in braids because that was the first thing she did in her video and let's go get started. Hi hair.com, it's Emily Alders, Artistic Director for Pureology. So what are some great techniques that I can share with you that are gonna help you style your hair with more ease and do so in ways that are gonna create really healthy, less heat styling? Okay, I'm back. I just did a little makeup and got ready. So the only step left to do is to do my hair. So I'm going to watch Emily's video all the way through and take you guys along for the journey. So let's see how it goes. Here's to hoping, fingers crossed. I put my hair in pigtails. Last night I took a shower and while my hair was still wet, I just put two really simple three strand braids and start right behind the and ear. And usually all I do for the week, so um, be nice to me because anything more is brand new. <laughs> Whatever is going on like with your kids and their homework and if that's the case then I love to add a mask to my hair. A hair mask, yes. I added one of those as well. Mine is the Pureology Color Fanatic I love mask, that one. And I'll put that into my damp hair and then I'll just put my braids in and I'll let it go. And then the next time that I wash my hair, I'll rinse that mask out. And it has made my hair feel so soft. So then I'm just gonna take the elastics out. Okay, so she's taking her braids out. I just did it. I did it a little too soon. Um, she's putting an air dry cream in. I don't think my hair needs it. Super cute. And I have this really nice texture. But our hair looks pretty much the same. I shifted my part just a little bit. Okay, so she's shifting her part. Almost like a and I think mine is already a little bit. We can do it a little bit more. So it's not like a really, really strict, straight. Just kind of zigzagging it, maybe in the back a little bit, so that can you see that? It's a little bit. Um, I can't see what you see. It's a little bit zigzaggy, and it's not so straight. So I can spray a, te a texture spray. So I'll do the Pureology, the Wind Toss. A texture spray. Spray that through. What's great about this product, out. if you didn't know it, is it actually has a heat protectant up to 450 degrees. So again, that is the Wind Toss Texture Spray. Now I'm gonna Done. take my regular one and a quarter inch Now we're iron. gonna take a curling iron. Hers is bigger than mine, mine is very old um, and it's inherited from my mother <laughs> um, and I she I have bangs so I'm not sure it'll work the same way um, but that looks really complicated ah! okay I'm gonna go back because I didn't understand what she did so flip it Like this, I think. And then as she and then again, and I'm just gonna twist that and pull through the ends. And you can see how it gives me that tighter curl. So then when I go through and <laughs> I don't think that did it. Okay, let's play it back and try it again. She starts in the middle and then curls it. And my hair's also a lot longer than hers is. Oh no, be nice to me, you guys, okay? It's so hard because I'm watching myself in this screen. Like that? I don't know what she did. Help! Third time is the charm. One more time. This is what this one came out like. Definitely not right. See, this is a way bigger iron than the texture that I put in with the braids. So I'm gonna give you a little trick as to how to recreate that texture, maybe further up in the head if you want. So I'm gonna take a section of hair that's about one inch by one inch, and I'm going to not go through the ends, but just up right around the face, because I have texture that looks through the ends already, and I'm gonna warm that up. I'm not gonna put 
with my finger and release the spring, but I'm gonna unwind it and then I'm gonna twist it and then pull down. So what's great about this is I'm using a little bit of heat, but only just like I did a minimal amount to create a little bit of additional texture. Yay! And then again, and I'm just gonna twist okay. that and pull through cool. the edge. So you can see how it gives me that tighter curl. So then when I go through and break that up, that curl pattern now matches the same texture that I have going through the rest of my hair. Okay. Super amazing. Cool, right? Yes. Now that we've created a little bit of texture, so this is a look that I can just rock the rest of my day like this. But I'm gonna okay, so she's gonna get a scarf. So I'm gonna get a scarf. Um, we're back. I grabbed a scarf. It does not necessarily match my sweater, but that is okay. Um, we're really scarf. thinking so, ahead here, guys. Oh, we all no, have these scarves laying around, and it's okay. a great way to grab the scarf. Hide. Yes, I need to hide my roots. My roots are a mess. A, a sexy look that we can wear around the house using a tail comb. I'm gonna go back. I don't have a tail comb. I'm just using this bad boy where my forehead and my hairline come together, and I'm gonna draw a line down to the back of my ear, just like so. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So basically what I'm doing is I'm isolating the hair that lives around my hairline from ear to ear. Okay, and this doesn't have- And it doesn't have to be clean. That's good, because mine is not necessarily super clean. Cure it into a low ponytail that's gonna sit right center back. She puts it back in. And then using my fingers, I'm just gonna lightly pull that hair out. Now we have our scarf. Didn't grab, oh I do, I need to hold it from my braids. Cool. That I've twisted so that it's thinner. And she's going a little okay. too fast for me. And I'm gonna place it around <laughs> my neck. Now I'm gonna leave all of this um, hair okay. forward. Right? So, so I'm not scarf, gonna put it in the put scarf. It my neck. And I'm gonna take the scarf and I'm gonna place it right up at the nape and roll, and roll up. up. Then I'm gonna cross like so. And, and then I'm gonna twist the opposite twist. direction. So I create almost a knot. And then I'm gonna go back to the back. I can take and then these tie. forward pieces. Again, I love a good texture spray because it just creates so much movement in the hair. And then I can actually take these up and I can tuck them in. Wait, I need to pause it. She's going so fast. Okay, so I just tied my scarf. That's how that looks. Super cute. Right, because it just creates so she much movement in the hair. Spray. And then I can actually take these up and I can tuck them in to the side of the scarf. But it just Same softens and then to the front. Ends. And then if you've got these little baby pieces, this part you can back. down. And then you've got this super cute look that then you can jump on your Zoom calls, you can run to the grocery store. It really helps hide okay. those roots, which is amazing. Okay, so that's pretty much the final look. I just need to style my bangs and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it's super, super cute. It's just a little bit of an updated version of what I would normally do to my hair. The scarf is adorable um, and I'm super happy with it. So make sure to check out Emily's original video of this low heat hairstyle either on all of our social channels or we'll link it down below somewhere down here. Um, thank you so much, Emily, and I had so much fun doing this. Bye!